so in this video we'll be working with the video graphics array and specifically the sync generation counters here is a simple uh, block diagram of the VGA we have a 25 megahertz clock here uh, and it powers the sync genera generation counters and it provides pixel RAM or pixel generator with the uh, the proper uh, counting or the the uh, another waveform which is the row and column in order to feed the monitor with the H-Sync, V-Sync and the colors so uh, in this video we'll be working with uh, this very simple uh, counter problem involving two waves the horizontal sync and the uh, vertical sync basically uh, the horizontal sync has its own internal counter called H-Count and the vertical sync has its own counter V count. So for every one count of V count, there are 800 counts of H count. So that's which means that uh, there are 525 H counts of 800 each inside the vertical sync. So in order to uh, show you the uh, output of that. Here's a finished uh, coding, finished coded project using these uh, the ceilings. Just uh, if you have already downloaded this uh, file, just click on Video Sync and open it. Make sure you're opening the correct uh, file and try to check out the uh, test bench and the unit under test code. So the actual code here, what's involved is uh, very basic elements, the uh, enable and the clock and the reset, standard elements. Actually in this code the enable section has not been implemented, only the clock and reset are in use. So uh, and next is the vsync and hsync. So these are the outputs, vsync and the uh, vsync, this one and the H-Sync so uh, basically we're working with these two here in this diagram H-Sync and V-Sync so in order to implement that um, we have internal counters uh, as integers V-Count and H-Count and we have constants are also called parameters and actually they're not constants but let's just call them but uh, anyway parameters we have vsync width and this is it the vertical sync width and the vsync fall this is the vsync fall time you see because vsync is in high in this play in this time range but it falls right that right around right here so the fall time is 494 and the rise time is 495 so if you can notice we have only one clock cycle where it goes down 495 minus 494 is 1 so the length of this uh, the length of this uh, low low logic um, width is uh, the width of this low logic uh, time frame is just one unit and we have them we have those reflected here and same for each sync and uh, we have the width the rise time and the fall time so these are the uh, parameters and as you can see the code is just quite short this is the actual code and before we explain the details of that we'll try to run this project let's click this test bench and simulate it by double clicking simulate behavioral model after that the uh, simulator is open we just click run all and wait for it to finish simulation so it's done because it highlighted finish with my inside my test bench let's go back to the code default the WCFG let's try to zoom out so never mind simulation max for the moment because I added this for simulation purposes 
However, let's do check out the V sync and the H sync. As you can see here, H sync is pretty small, so it's uh, shown as a shaded area. But V sync is look looks like it's always in the high. But actually, in this area here, we can zoom in a little bit. There's a logic low for one unit here. That's it. You can see the logic low part there for VSync. We, we're zooming down to very few microseconds here. So we're looking at a very small fragment of time here. So uh, even smaller is the the H-Sync because there are 800 of these H-Syncs inside one period of V-Sync. So as you can pull back a little bit, you can see that from here to the next one, you can count 800. As you can see here, if we uh, zoom really far, when you get 800 of those H-Syncs in here, in this area, you get to go to the next V-Sync here. So that's how many uh, H-Syncs are inside a single V-Sync. Anyway, when we zoom in a little, a little bit, let's check out the counters. So as you can see, our uh, test bench here doesn't include any code for the counters. The counters are actually embedded inside the unit under test. So we have to click unit under test to reveal the counters here and add them to the uh, wave list and re relaunch the simulator so that uh, it records the values for the counter and shows it to you so initially ceilings will by default only simulate up, up to one microsecond as you can see here this is only a simulation on the length of one microsecond however to override this you must add special code or actually run indefinite infinitely or you can add a special code in order to limit the simulation time or the other option is to run infinitely so I have already added special code which is uh, implemented due to this block of code here anyway if you click run all it will run until the limit I I imposed using this code so it actually already finished running it stopped because of this at line 79 there is a finish directive here it says uh, always at the negative edge of vsync if during that time you decrement simulation max initially simulation max is 5 at the point if simulation max is zero we finish the simulation so we only only really get five events where vsync uh, is uh, in the negative edge so this is to limit the uh, simulation so as you can see five to one here the next is zero it stopped so the point here is that this is uh, one length of uh, this is a length of from 0 to 793 microseconds this is the length of one v-sync one h-sync on the other hand is smaller if you zoom in a little bit you can see that there are many h-syncs so one period of an h-sync is actually a lot shorter than one period of a v-sync so an h-sync uh, lasts from 787 to 788 microseconds this is pretty small time anyway if we look back a little bit we can count the number of we change the radix to unsigned decimal radix to unsigned decimal and we can see that
we can see that we get up to in the 493rd count of V count we uh, we see the uh, 494 here we can see that we have the fall time for the vertical sink if we go back here at 494 minus 1 because this is zero based so we use 493 so we get the fall time for the v-sync it falls right here and we have 493 here if you zoom a little more here you click each sync and zoom in you can see the uh, the counter for each sync starts to appear here we are at 661 661 so that's 660 and if we go back here we we, we go down at 660 this is when we go down it's at 660 here so that's it the next rise time for each sink is you can see this is each sink and this is its rise time goes at 756 minus 1 of 757 if we go back here that's 756 so that's 756 here so anyway this is how the code works so much for that we'll, uh, we'll close this and we'll start explaining the source code so it's very simple actually the if h count is less than the width then you start incrementing h count however if it's already equal or more than the width you reset it back to zero so you don't overflow and then when it go back goes back to zero you also check if you need to increment v count because as you can see every time we reach 800 for h count we increment one v count here so we actually have 800 times 525 for v count 800 h counts is equal to one v count so when you reach 800 this one is 800 800 when you reach 800 you're no longer less than 800 so you you enter this code block here you reset to zero and then if v count at that moment if v count is less than the length of 525 you check if v count is less than less than 525 you increment v count here else you you set v count equal to zero there's a strikingly similar coding style being applied for both codes here if you can see if i delete this and i put that here you can see both of these are the same you can see that clearly the only trick here is I put it inside of here in order to have the correct algorithm applied so that's the only trick here so you can see this code is similar to this code that's it that's the only trick being done here however this one only triggers when it rises and falls this one these counters are for counting from here to here but these things are for these things okay that should be quite understandable anyway always reset so this is for the asynchronous reset operations however you can do asynchronous reset you only need to insert this code here 
while adding more uh, modifications anyway this sends this uh, small video guide on how to implement a sync generation counter for a VGA system for more information you can download this PDF which was given by the instructor from the links provided in the description of the video thanks for watching